When you sell your home, sometimes you don't know where you're going. Now, it's not something we suggest you doing, selling first and not having a plan on the other side, but if you're in that situation, or maybe you're moving from one city to another, or maybe you just wanna get out of owning a house altogether, and you just wanna rent for whatever reason that might be, that's what we're talking about today. The Calgary market, what's happening here for rentals, what can you expect, what are different types of properties? We're gonna talk about all of that and more on today's video. Alberta seeing the largest population growth that we have seen in a very long time, we are seeing rents going up and property prices going up. 33% increase in one bedroom apartments that are renting and 31% increase in two bedrooms. Now, in saying all of that, Calgary is still the 14th most expensive city in all of Canada when it comes to renting, but you still gotta live somewhere. So if you are getting out of the market, you're making the change, you're trying to figure out a rental, we wanna talk about that more right now. First thing we wanna talk about today is how do you even find rentals? Well, the thing is, we wanna set you up for success. So I would suggest your first step is just do a Google search. Go search up Calgary rentals, Calgary apartments, Calgary's houses for rent, something like that. And that's gonna be a great place to start. You're gonna find websites like rentfaster.ca, gotta rent, things like that. You can try looking on realtor.ca, but most likely you're not gonna find very many options on there. The second place you can look is directly going to property managers. Now, property managers are only gonna show you properties that they have under management. So you're not gonna be able to see everything. And the third place that many people think, especially when they're coming from out of town, is talking to agents, talking to realtors in Calgary. Unfortunately, we don't actually help with uh, rentals that much. In other major cities that happens, but not so much here. So it's best that you basically do your Google search, start there, find the reputable re websites like RentFaster, Gotta Rent, those kind of places, even Kijiji sometimes, and that is gonna be your best place to find rentals here in Calgary. So now that you know where to find rentals, what type of rentals are, out, are there out there in Calgary? Well, to be honest, there are many different types and it all comes down to what you need. What are your requirements? What are you, uh, you and another person, you and families, whatever it is, because you've got everything from condos like this behind me and townhouses or even duplexes like this one where it's up and down or side by side. And the other type is sometimes full houses. So, so you can find some amazing places, even brand new places like this that are getting rented out. And inside those homes, sometimes you find rooms, single rooms where you just rent that room, you share amenities, kitchens, all that kind of good stuff. But the other one that's new to the city is actually office buildings being converted into residential units. So we're gonna go check that out. So as you know, there are so many different types of rentals and this one's a little bit different. It's unique to Calgary because this is an old office building that's turned into residential. So we are here with People First Development at the Cornerstone and we're headed up to the fifth floor. Thank you so much for having us in your construction zone. We got our hats on, we're having fun. Yes. Uh, so Max, tell us, why is People First Developments interested in loving this idea of taking old buildings like this, turning them into rentals uh, for the Calgary market? When we were looking for our next project, we really wanted to understand where could we provide the most value. And we, uh, it's no secret that downtown vacancy rates are at their record high. Yeah. It's no secret that the cost of living is going up. We needed more affordable housing. So opportunity came up where the city announced the grants for repurposing off um, office towers into residential units. And basically the stars lined up where we were able to stumble across this beautiful asset. Yeah. The city announced the grants. We were able to pick up this project at the right time. And at the same time, participate in solving one of these, or some of these problems, one being reducing vacancy in downtown, yeah. providing affordable housing, and of course, creating jobs and revitalizing downtown Calgary. Yeah, but it's on a great location too, because we're on 5th and 8th, 
a uh, great walking distance to Kensington, mm -hmm. like a lot of, like it's a really great location for this. So those that are going to be renting here, because mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be probably summer, fall of 2023 when people are starting to able to apply and kind of get into to this project. Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, we're planning to uh, announce pre-leasing September, October-ish. Okay. With occupancy January. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, and so those that are moving in January, yeah. what can they expect? Because I've heard two bedrooms, three bedrooms, really great rental prices. Give us the lowdown. The project itself is focused on providing larger purpose-built rentals, two to three bedroom units, uh, with a whole focus on addressing the need for families, for young couples. The large majority that perhaps wants a larger space than traditional condo that's being sold. Yeah at reasonable prices. And as far as what to expect, you can expect all the finishings of a brand new condo, or as we like to call it, you know, um, attainable luxury. Awesome, yeah. that's a great word. <laughs> Did you hear that? Attainable luxury. I like it, I like it. Mm -hmm. You have a good marketing guy. Or maybe yeah. that was you, I don't know, either. No, it, uh, it, it was all him. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's good. So if you have more questions about this project, you can Google the Cornerstone by People First Developments and you're gonna find Max's beautiful face there, I'm sure. And from there, you can get some information, do what you need to, but this is a very different type of rental that Calgary hasn't seen very much of, but I feel like you're gonna see a lot more of in the future. Now, if you were planning on making a change in this coming year, we would encourage you and invite you to interview our team. We have a great track record. We have helped a family every 17 and a half hours move this past year. And not only that, we have actually had over 1.1 million video views on our YouTube channel here. So if you're watching this, you're thinking of making a change, we want to work with you. We would love to be invited to the table. Let's have a conversation and let's help you make that change. Now, the third thing you want to be paying attention to is what are you even signing up for, right? So you're going to have a lease agreement. You're going to have something in place. First thing is how long is that agreement? Are you planning on doing month to month? Is this going to be a set term, whether it's six months, a year, longer? All of those things are really, really important to understand because if you are planning on buying a house at some point, you might want to make sure you have flexibility to get out of the rental agreement because homes right now are moving so quickly. So if something comes up that's perfect that you're hoping for, you might want to jump on it really, really quick. Other thing you want to be paying attention to and probably asking the landlord is what are you responsible for? So there could be things like mowing the lawns in summers, shoveling, you know, like this lovely white stuff, shoveling some of that in the, oh, that's cold, shoveling some of that in the winter. All of those kind of things are really, really important. And having those conversations up front, because it's going to cause less conflict potentially with you and the landlord in the future. And the other thing is your move in, move out checklist. So having those done properly is really, really important because it rolls into the last point, which is your deposits. If you want to get your deposit back, having everything documented at the beginning in the move in report is going to be really important to understand in the move out report to get your deposits when you're done your term. So when you're renting a property, a part of that is discovering where you want to live, looking at locations, living in the area, getting a feel for it, because what you thought you might like, you actually don't. So got to be really careful because you don't want to necessarily tie yourself into the property too quickly when you buy something. So if you're coming from out of town, I mean, the last two years, I have never seen so many people buying homes so quickly and not renting first. There was a ton of FOMO, fear of missing out in people who were moving here from out of town. Well, the market's changed a little bit. Less inventory, more time for you to wait for the right place. So making that move out here, making that move inside the city when you sell a property and finding basically an area that you might love, it gives you a chance to explore. So head on over to these two videos up top here. You can go check out many, many locations and communities in the city. And down here is the Millennials Guide to Moving to Calgary. We'll see you on those videos.